Hello, I'm still having great time with this WaveShare 1.8 inch AMOLED ESP32 display board and um, a few days ago I showed you this step counter and of course it is time for new example. So I have a new free example for you, this simple pocket watch which is inspired with my Casio G-Shock and here it is <laughs> nothing to say about it we can set brightness here we can set time and date and with this middle button I can turn on this let's call it flashlight and that's basically it and I also wanted to show you how to install this board and use it in Arduino ID you can find link of this example and code I will like last time I will also share a bin file so you can easily install install these examples if you don't know how please check my last video which is this step counter okay let's see how to install this uh, board into your Arduino ID like always you will need some libraries and some examples to start with and we will find those files on WaveShare site so I will try to find my product which is here Arduino related ESP32 boards kits ESP32 and among many of these ESP32 boards with display here is our hero ESP32 S3 one point each AMOLED I love AMOLED boards they are future and here you can find many interesting examples built-in real-time clock chip accelerometer uh, power management chip touch display amoled resolution tft card slot don't forget to read all these informations and at the end of this page we can find wiki wikipedia or not wikipedia site wiki like wave share page we'll click that and here we can find many useful informations about arduino ide version about installing it but what we really want to is right here at the end or not at the end <laughs> we need this demo this zip file and when you export this zip file you will have these three folders in it we will need Arduino and here we can find some examples but before trying examples we need to install libraries and libraries like always all you need to do is to copy this folder and put them in your Arduino libraries folder what I love to do is before copying before copying new libraries I always delete old version of my LVG or GFX so I'm it is not wise to have two versions of library in this libraries folder because we never know what Arduino ID will choose to use and in Arduino IDE 
make sure you have ESP32 boards installed and I recommend not the newest one in when using wave share boards I'm using this 3.07 and everything works I haven't tried all versions I but I know that some of the newest don't work right now and don't forget to set these so we can put this to enable flash size is always 16 partitions is all also 16 and you need to choose here and enable OPPS RAM it will not work without this before trying my examples because they are related to Square Line Studio and it is always uh, good it's always good to check all these uh, factory examples let's call that and you can I basically learn everything from factory examples for example in this clock example <laughs> example 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 I learned how to use real-time clock using this because this is an example which show you how to use those functions for real-time clock thank you I hope this video was helpful and that you learned something have a nice day and I will see you uh, very soon I hope probably goodbye <laughs>